I see. So, like, uh, is there a, is there a continuum between the way that uh, the Ebola crisis is reported and the way that we report on ISIS? How is fear used in in both instances, and how? And I bet you two could expose how there's an, an economic conspiracy behind almost everything. Alec, you're an American. You must be dying to have a war even now. As you sat there, it's been 20 minutes of peace. You must you must think there's some resources around here somewhere I could be taking. What do you think of the uh, the ISIS crisis, Alec? No comment. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes as Americans, we're so fatigued by war, we're so fatigued by, you know, America, uh, we can't, we, we walk into a bar and we want to pick a fight with everybody. And now we're older, we're, or we're, we're, we're a little more flabby and out of shape, and we can't beat everybody in a fight anymore. America's, America is, uh, they got all the weaponry, they got all the money, but I don't think Americans have the will anymore to, to do that and, and 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 sometimes i'm not saying this is true but sometimes you get a sense that every time you turn around the military industrial complex is casting the next enemy once we're yes. done with that one it's like the, all, all of a sudden what is isis you never hear about isis yeah we're not, not a word about where's ISIS. the taliban we're, 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 not matt Ta but, but, but not matt taibbi or anybody who's really you know matt out there in the world the terrorist <laughs> well, but, but i'm saying nobody but nobody's out there reporters whether it's uh uh uh, uh what's his name uh um Glenn Greenwald. Greenwald. And no reporters that you turn to for the truth. ISIS isn't even on the screen. Then all of a sudden, as soon as Al Qaeda seems like you know we're going to leave Iraq, all of a sudden it's like, wait, not so fast. Turn around. Better come back here. We found these doesn't ISIS. It, doesn't <laughs> ISIS. Doesn't this fulfill that Orwellian? Doesn't again. this fulfill that Orwellian notion of you need the two minutes of hate? Yeah. You know, in, in the 1984, the, the, the community was given their daily two minutes of hate. So, uh, look, six months ago it was Al-Qaeda. Now it's ISIS. Uh, tomorrow it'll be the chorus. The, the question becomes, are these people cast? Yes. I are believe they, they are. Cast? Yeah. Right. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. All I know is that in the United States, we now... Who funds we, them? We, we, <clears throat> who funds them? The United, the United Kingdom. Who gives them the weapons? The United Kingdom and America. Who, you know, they, they're, they're talking about terrorist groups that they themselves fund and arm. Right. So so who's who's a terrorist? Is it some nameless guy in the desert? We're the with, with, or or is it David Cameron? Same. David Cameron, the funder, right. the guy who's arming them, I would say he's the terrorist. Does he used to do this That's on Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's, but everybody in America now is becoming more and more prone, and I take that back, not everybody, but a growing number of people in America are becoming more prone to the idea that perhaps the U.S. or in some kind of cabal with allies like the U.K., we are the arsonist and the fireman at the same time. But if I think, uh, the only way I can make sense of this stuff is to individualize it. Like, the, I, I, sort of, I become uh, unhappy, disaffected, agitated, and angry with the way my domestic conditions are. Oh my God, this is so unfair. And then someone goes, you're very lucky no one's chopping your head off like, all right then i'll shut up i'll shut up at least i'm not getting my head chopped off and i think that as long as there is an abiding narrative that we're being bombarded with that's stimulating fear and when we were t we were talking about fox news before that fox is going to generate this furnace of fear this relentless heat of terror being broadcast